Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Sybin's channel on the forefront of a psychedelic renaissance. Joining us, as always, is the Chief Executive Officer, Duke Drisdale. Welcome back, sir. Hey, great to see you again. You as well. Always love getting these insights into this uh, this new evolving sector. Um, so we're going to encapsulate a lot in this video. We're going to be talking financials. We're going to be taking a look at some of the milestones. But first and foremost, let's just kick it off with the uh, top of the wire here. As Simon was awarded notice of allowance from the U.S. Patent Office for CYB004 for the treatment of anxiety disorder. Do you want to just kind of unravel this for us? Sure. So this is a patent allowed by, uh, as you say, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Uh, it includes composition of matter protection for CYB4, which is our drug substance for uh, anxiety disorders that we're developing. And, and anxiety disorders affects as many as, as much as 12% of the population. So that's about 40 million people in the US. Um, this patent, as well as covering the CYB4 product, uh, also includes a number of other DMT and 5-MeO-DMT analogs that we've deuterated as well and, uh, and provides protection out to at least 2041, uh, which helps protect that work and the investment that we're doing for that anxiety disorder program. Yeah, that's great to hear. Um, do you want to encapsulate a little bit more for your, your 2021 milestones here? I mean, you got so much going on building out that pipeline. What really uh, stood out to you this year? Yeah, it's been a year really of massive growth. Uh, we've had 10x growth at the company in terms of employees. We've gone from five employees to 55 employees across four countries. Um, we've also spent the year building out more than 50 partnerships. And this is kind of an ecosystem around us that enables us to do both preclinical work and clinical work uh, on both sides uh, of the Atlantic. We've built up a supply chain in the UK and the US so that as we move into next year, we can run clinical studies on, on both sides uh, of the Atlantic. And uh, we've also completed just in the last month or so, our first psychotherapy uh, program training as our Embark psychotherapy program. And uh, as early as this month, we'll be dosing the first patient in that program at the University of Washington. And this will be using Embark alongside psilocybin uh, to treat healthcare professionals that are, are facing clinical depression and burnout uh, after dealing with COVID-19 uh, for the last uh, last two years. Yeah, that's uh, that's really incredible, uh, the markets that you guys are approaching for sure. Um, yeah, it's what a wild year. Uh, speaking from the growth side of it, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, financials itself, because I mean, you guys have done an incredible job uh, raising capital. I mean, on your uh, interim from September 30th here, I mean, you guys were flush with 75 million cash, uh, typical in the pharmaceutical sectors. You guys are sitting on very little liabilities, which puts you kind of in this really nice spot to kind of push this stuff forward. Do you want to talk a little bit about that cash spend and kind of what you expect coming into 2022, like you mentioned with some of those uh, trials that are coming up? Yeah, it's great to be sitting on a strong balance sheet when the markets are down, right? So we can just make sure we can continue to, to execute. Uh, and as we move into 2022, uh, we'll start to see our R&D spending ramping up. I think that's a good thing, particularly in the second half of next year, as we start investing in, in clinical studies, uh, likely averaging eight to $10 million uh, in total spend per, per month. So uh, per quarter, sorry. Uh, so we, we've got a balance sheet that will take us out well into, into 2023. Um, in terms of upcoming milestones, we expect to meet with regulators uh, on both sides of the Atlantic uh, in the first quarter. So Health Canada, uh, US FDA, and the MHRA in the UK. Um, in the second quarter, we plan to make filings, IND filings and CTA filings for both our CYB3 uh, product for depression and our CYB4 product for anxiety disorders in the second quarter. So that's really exciting. But those, both of those filings are the first step to moving into human studies. And we spent the first human study with major depressive disorder to kick off around mid-2022. So it's a really busy six months ahead of us. Lots of milestones, lots of catalysts coming up. That's great. Uh, I'm sure the uh, the retail audience would love to uh, hear more about that. And uh, obviously, as the news comes down the wire, I look forward to getting more uh, updates, hopefully in the new year here, Duke. But I really appreciate your time today. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. And on that note, folks, as always, let us know what you think in that comment section below. But stay cool, stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next one.